there's that classic thing that a lot of people do in talks where like jump, everybody get up and now jump high. And then they say, and now everybody jump higher. And every fucking person jumps higher. Hey brother, how are you? I'm well. Good to see you. Coffee. Thank you. <laughs> Dunk. What's up, brother? Hurry, my hand's getting tired. Good, how are you? Good to see you, man. Getting buff. Glad you're here. I'm trying. Ready? Everything has a purpose. It's really funny. I'm such a funny personality when the camera's on that I think people think like I'm just throwing shit at the wall. Like, right? I'm very you high energy. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's actually, I would think it would be borderline scary to people for them to understand I virtually don't do anything without a calculated rationale behind it. Right. So, so it's the way I think about it is gateway drugs to the close. And a lot of times people try to put the closed unit, but it's too heavy. Oh, that's cool, all right. Thanks, brother. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Good to see you again. Thank you. Good to see you again. Dude, you're really getting thin, man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the humidity out here is helping. <laughs> you're just melting? Yeah. I might have a half an hour. You know what? I think we're going to do the Ask Gary V show. Hey, everybody. This is Gary Vay, Nerd Chuck, and this is episode 217 of the Ask Gary V show. What's up, Periscope? Decided to, I'm um, just waiting for my next meeting, so trying to uh, leverage every second and create some content. I have no idea. This alone time is freaking me out. I don't even know what I'm doing. I, there's just been a lot of canceled things today. Cool. So uh, last week, uh, I was on a call with uh, James and Claude. Um, there was a lot of HR and operation stuff going on, and kind of just you know. The tone and the vibe got me to really, you know, thinking. And uh, over the weekend, I sent Claude an email and said, "Can you do me a favor? I want you to put together a group of individuals, and here's the criteria, um, predicated on people's uh, time spent at Vayner or uh, what positions they hold." I think we're in a really interesting time in Vayner Media's history, and there was a series of different things that have happened over the last hundred days that make me feel that there was. Um, There's not a disconnect, but an opportunity for uh, me to do what I do as a CEO, and that's what this is about. So, Claude was making a point about something, and I said, Claude, there is no Kool-Aid. There's no fucking Kool-Aid. Enough of this Kool-Aid talk. This is our water. This is what we do. Kool-Aid is what what negative people in this company say to you guys if you're positive, because they're just keeping it real. I can't single-handedly anymore. You know, I probably never could to begin with, but no question, I can't single-handedly be responsible for this culture alone. I've got, and I'm very affected, I think, by what's happening in the outside world. You know, London, UK, breaking from the EU. Uh, Probably what's happening right now with the political race. What, What has happened, you know, in the same way that I realized that people are gonna use Snapchat three years ago, it's the same thing that I'm realizing in consumer behavior. It's just easier to be cynical. The unhappy minority are dramatically louder than the happy majority. And we have a major case of that at Vayner. We're living in a world where it's easier to look at the negative. And what, why you're here today is you're part of a group that I need help from. I said something the other day, I'm like, fuck man, I might as well actually run this business like everybody else does because at least I'll make the money because I'm pouring money into trying to make the culture great but if the collective culture, go, like if it's just so easy for everybody to default into the negative, what the fuck am I doing here? Like, oh wait a minute, maybe people have tried to do what I've done before. They just give up because you become disappointed. My, I'm hypersensitive to one person crying in the bathroom. I'm hypersensitive to one person talking shit for two days in a row at their table. Like, I just don't want anybody upset. So this is gonna become a binary company in January. Like if I have to start all over, I'm okay with that. And I'm being dead serious, I'm weird. I'm very weird. Either you fully believe in what I and what this company is about, or you don't. Change is forever here. 
There's never gonna be a time we grow up. There's never gonna be a time where we, like, it's for, as long as I'm the CEO of VaynerMedia, change is the only thing that's not gonna change, right? It's just who we are. I can taste that we're six months away from the moment that will start the moment to be the downfall of this company, so I have no interest in letting that happen, so I'm just getting massively ahead of it and going on the offense like I do. No defense for me. If I smell it, like, I don't think we're there, but I think we can be there. Because what are they gonna tell you? <laughs> like, so that's the punchline. Everybody's gonna always believe Rick over VaynerMedia. And I want to reverse that. Rick gets fired from Happens everywhere. So like, he doesn't care, because running their business, I'm gonna answer you, he's running their business for 27% margin and they actually go the other way. They binary don't give a fuck at all. So for me, if I'm running a 9% margin and I'm giving up millions of dollars, I'd like to get the benefit of it. <laughs> that's what's, so that's what's happening. So if I'm going into fuck it, me? Well then everybody's gone to fuck it and said fuck it. If I'm leaving 14 million dollars cash for myself on the table to make a good place per year and I can't do it so I might as well take the fucking money. Like if, if, I'm, a, if I'm a fucking Kool-Aid guy to begin I might as well take the fucking money. So let me, let me bounce around a little bit. Football stories. How much are you willing to tell football stories as a gateway drug to getting more people into your funnel. Great. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna you're gonna you're gonna create your public stuff. Yeah. Okay. And you'll you'll navigate and maybe out, out, whoever's got the bandwidth, like maybe you'll take the lead or what have you. All right, I'll, you guys can continue to hang here and ask some more questions if you want. You're not gonna have to go. Thanks, bro. Right, good to see it. you. I'll talk yes. to you soon. All right. All right. All right. That was like that's exactly it. That's all we're getting. Yeah, it's my friend. Hello. How are you? Hi. Such Terrific. a pleasure. Good to see you. Where are we go? Where am I going? Uh, my office. Great. Come on in. How have you been? Um, I'm very. Um, um, I'm surrounded by huge fans of yours. Well, that's very nice. Yeah. Um, that say that you're building something incredible here. Well, thank you. Can you tell me what you do? Yeah. I I'm trying to build the best marketing machine mm -hmm. in the world. And some people are starting to understand. You know, I, by the way, my man, you and I come from the same religion. That, by the way, this agency is the same thing for the biggest brands in the world in advertising that you're doing for music. Right, okay. We're the closest thing that any brand could hire if they understand what's actually happening. But, like this is a 20 yeah. year execution, so I'm not, I'm okay with the shit eating years. Yeah. But you're absolutely right. But I want you to know one thing. Um, please know that I'm super here for anything that doesn't make sense predicated on what you think the religion is or what you think you're buying into or what you think I'm about or what you think the logo's about. Never fester on things. I'm, you, I'm, I'll answer anything every day, always. I'm, op I'm always worried that people think I'm way too, this guy following me around, I'm traveling a little, and I'm here. Anybody that's been here as long as you, I'm always most interested in what they're interested in. Is there a, put in a position to succeed, that's, that has me excited. Because that could be the kind of thing that we're gonna add to the team on in October. Yeah. You know what I mean? That, be in the clip. <laughs> that might have to make it. Uh, I would say that you always wanna go as broad with a title as you can. Yeah. Because when you pigeonhole or you create things, then everybody raises their hand and says that. I am. Um, my little brother works for you, actually. It's really funny. Um, Trying to remember uh, your brother's name. Jonathan Ginter. I don't know if you know him. I know exactly who your brother. Oh, really? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's great. Anyway, nice well, to meet you. Cool. No pleasure. Yeah. yeah, she's she's doing great and she's great and she's loving it. She's like the people there are so much more. 
intelligent, like they're just fun people to work with, like, and it was the right move for her. I was like, I'm you so can happy. do whatever you want to do there. You can like go, you can She can have my grow, job. You can do whatever like, you want. That's wanna. the game. Yeah. Uh, hey. Hey. Uh, really glad you guys are all here. Hope everybody had a great fourth. I, uh, obviously this came together pretty quickly. I, uh, there's a whole lot of things I want to talk about. But and, I, and it's super important to me. And I want you to hear, just plain and simple, this will never be a company that cares about short-term revenue and profit margins. Yes, these things matter, but not at the most macro level. We want to be the best version we can be. We shouldn't be silly. We shouldn't be, like, we don't, I don't want an eighth place trophy. I want to be the best and the nicest. Another thing I'm going to be spending a lot of time talking about, and it's going to be a big theme very shortly, is change. The amount of change this company is going to feel forever, always, is extreme and will never change. Like, we just can't sweep under the rug negativity, angst, bad stuff. No more. I am unable to, in the next year, get a shocking majority of this company to believe what's in my heart and brain, then I'm gonna reset in a very substantial way. Good night, guys. I thought that was super duper productive. Mm-hmm. By far the best uh, of those. Uh, Not even close. Right? Far and away. Yeah. And real. People actually like put their heart up and sleeve and said what they actually thought. I, I think it's winnable. I understand that uh, you're trying to scale the unscalable, you're trying to solve greater human behaviors. But I, you know, I oftentimes say it's dictatorship. And, uh, and, and what I mean is it's a dictatorship around culture and I really think I can pull it off. Like, and I think most importantly, I think the belief in being able to pull it off and the effort in trying to pull it off and the allocation of time and effort moves the needle and moves the ball further down the path than any other good organization will do. And I think the second you believe that you can't, you can't push it as far. There's that classic thing that a lot of people do in talks where like jump, everybody get up and now jump high. And then they say, and now everybody jump higher. And every fucking person jumps higher. I'm not looking to create a bunch of mini me's. I'm, I'm trying to push them further down the path. It's why I use the analogy of jumping up, now jump higher. If I can just get everybody, the only thing I can pull off is pushing everybody to the best versions of themselves at this thing. This is, this is pushing the envelope on the culture front. And, and more importantly, making them realize what I'm really driven by. As long as they understand that, the why of it, you know, and I said it, like, because I believe that it builds a better business and, and, and it makes it, it I, I get suffocated. Like, a lot of this is so selfish. I'm suffocated in negativity. <sighs> you know? Mm-hmm. I just want to know how you're going to pull it off. Like, 10 years. Flawlessly. Uh, super intense. Excited to see how you're gonna edit this one. Very, very, very productive. That's a good day's work. 16 hours of good day's work. Doing the right thing is always the right thing. And I'm gonna always do that. You know what the funniest part is? On that note, I expect to do things that are wrong in the future that we will have to deal with cynicism and I do have to rebuild relationships up, I'm surely not willing to take it now when we have it.